Alrighty, let's go ahead and finish up the last five. Another really short video on page three of module four, lesson nine. So I started going really fast. I was trying to race the clock. So I'll go back over the ones that I went really fast on. So square root of zero is zero because zero times zero is zero. Square root of 16 is four because four times four is 16. Square root of 64 is 8, because 8 times 8 is 64. And here we wrote not possible, and that's because negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, not negative 9. So that's why it's not possible. There's no number times itself, which will give me negative 9. In any number times itself will always give me a positive number. And then square root of 400, 2 times 2 is 4, and then add two zeros, that's 20. You can see that right here. I typed it in the calculator to verify. And I went too fast and I went 60, but that can't be 60 because 6 times 6 is 36, and there would be two zeros. So this one we're going to have to type in the calculator. So we hit second, the x squared button, which has square root right above it, remember. And then we do 3, 6, 6, 0, 1,000. So 10, 9, 7, 4. And then we did <clears throat> 3,600 right before, but we can do it again. And that is 60, because 6 times 6 is 36, and then two zeros. Square root of negative 100. Negative 10 times negative 10 is positive 100. So this is another one that's not possible. And 225, that's 15, because 15 times 15 is 225. But if you don't know it, you can hit second. Keep getting in the glare there. There we go. Second, x squared, 225, close your parentheses, 15 it is. And then here's another not possible one because no number times itself will ever give us a negative. So mm -hmm. negatives are not possible underneath the square root when we're only working with real numbers. Okay, that's the end of that lesson. We'll move on to Pythagorean theorem in the next video.